Tackle's bait and tackle box finally came in the mail. Uh, this is just a bunch of trout and salmon gear that I got. Um, so I'm about to just show you guys a quick little preview of what I'll be using next week up at the forks. So uh, let's get into it. Haven't opened it yet. What's up guys? So without further ado, let's dig into this Carl's bait and tackle box. Uh, it's not a mystery tackle box. We do know what's in here. Uh, a couple days ago I ordered uh, a bunch of lures specifically trying to stock up on ones that are going to help me target salmon and trout next week. So this is just a quick little video to show you guys what kind of a sneak peek at what I will be fishing with next week and uh, show you what we got in the box, all right? So first things first, we've got two Rapalas, uh, two Rapala crankbaits. Both are shallow. This is the Rapala um, DT4 and that means dive to depth. So DT4 just means it's gonna dive, it's a four foot dive depth. Um, that bright yellow should help really kinda elicit a reaction strike. Um, and where I'll be fishing in the shallows and in the river will be perfect for a shallow diving crankbait. Also like the Rapala here that you see, this one's got a little bit of a smaller bill. Technically it says it's a slash bait, which I don't know what a slash bait is. Um, I don't know what the difference is. I'm guessing it's some type of movement with your rod, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to find out. But we got the Rapala X-Wrap. Um, and so, again, right along the same lines as the other Rapala we picked up. This one is yellow, purple, and black on top, with a little pink on the bottom. So, again, some bright colors. We're mixing it up. We got some bright colors here. We're trying to have an option for any type of presentation you might need. Let's see, next we got a couple of our Panther Martins. Um, I really kind of went crazy with these and stocked up, but uh, we got a, just a pretty basic uh, Panther Martin here. This is a quarter ounce, it's white, has a little bit of that dressing on the bottom with the white feather, white and red feather, uh, and the white weighted bead inside the spinner has some red dots on it so little flare white um can't go wrong with white so we we'll definitely put that to good use we got a couple of rooster tails one uh one half ounce here that i'm showing you guys now a black one little dressing on it and we have a and i actually have never used a rooster tail before we have the uh pink white and green one here and this is just a sixth of an ounce so um we're excited we'll put the uh the rooster tails to the test about a week or so stay tuned you guys gotta check that out um this is a little bit bigger by acme we got the acme uh, rattlin spin master and so this one actually has built-in ball bearings six right inside the central chamber and so not only are you getting that flash with the spinner, but you're getting that, that uh, the sound effects as well to really elicit a strike, to bring the fish in, get them, uh, get them where you want them, which is on the line. Another, along the same topic, we got another uh, spinner here, Panther Martin um, from Savage Gear. This one uh, actually also comes with a single hook. So for those of you that don't know, certain rivers, certain bodies of water in Maine at certain times of year have different regulations. Sometimes you can only use uh, artificial lures. Other times you can only use single hooks instead of trebles. Uh, it all depends on species, time of year. Sometimes you can only fly fish. So that being said, um, this comes with an extra single hook. So if you wanna swap out from your treble to your single, you can. Savage gives you everything you need to do that. Um, this is kind of a uh, oddball, just one I threw in there. I don't know if it'll work. Small little plastic presentation. We didn't have a lot of plastic in this this uh, box. I did, just chose not to. And um, so we, we figured we'd try the, the uh, Thumper Crappy King. Uh, these are just a 132nd of an ounce, so very light. They do come with that little spinner on the bottom, which is kind of neat. 
Um, and we'll definitely be trying these guys out. Almost there. We've got a couple of spoons to round it off. So we've got the Nichols Lures Mojo Spoon. Um, and this is pretty cool. So this one has the dressing uh, on the treble, which is great. And then it has that gold and black um, split color on the spoon, which I think will be great. You can match uh, perch with that, although the fish aren't in the river to eat. They're there to spawn this time of year. Um, I think that black and gold is kind of a switch hitter, if you will. Uh, the black can show up a little bit better in some murkier water, as well as the gold's going to attract and reflect any light that is in that water. I think that'll be a good one. And our last one in the box today, guys, is the Acme Castmaster. So this one is also dressed. And the cool thing here is this is a uh, single hook. So we don't have to worry about potentially switching out our hook, anything like that. Uh, this is an ounce and a half, so it's kind of a heavy. Um, but where we will be fishing mostly a river, I want to, to have as many different weights and sizes of baits so that depending on the flow, I can get that down to where I want it. Um, we got a bunch of bobbers and other things as well. So we should be pretty well stocked up, guys. I'm excited to get up there. We're going a week from tomorrow, bright and early, up at 2 a.m. So be sure to stay tuned, check out that video. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Keep on fishing. Whoa, I almost forgot. If you guys wanna see me put some of these lures to good use, make sure you subscribe. We've got a two-part video coming out in the coming weeks, and I'll be heading back up to the Forks, Maine to earn a little bit of vengeance. Our first trip didn't pan out as much as we would have liked, so naturally, we have to go take some revenge. So we're heading back up in about a week's time. If you guys want to watch that video, make sure you're subscribed. You'll get those notifications. You'll know when I post that latest video. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate all the support. We just hit our first thousand views. First thousand, about a week and a half ago. We're up to almost 1,500 now. So that's because of you guys. I thank you, I appreciate it. I'm just going out having fun fishing, doing what I do anyway. And uh, the fact that some of you guys appreciate it makes my day. So thank you guys. Get out there, have fun, do what you love, and keep fishing.